knocked over like five or six yeah. inches. Mm -hmm. So he hit he hit something really hard. So we already found him a subframe. Okay. Well, we're gonna yeah. You know. Um, Get subframe. And, and actually, his plastics are not in, for his tail are not in horrible shape. Yeah. You can actually glue and plastic weld this back together. That so your tails are in really okay shape. You know. Anyhow, uh, I'm pretty sure his frame didn't get screwed up. You know, um, I was telling him if he really, really wanted to do it right, he should pull everything off of it. And like, I know this guy in Sacramento, he's, he's actually, his name is Maura, you know, man. Man. And, and he's got jigs for everything. He can set up a jig and he will check out. Like I have two RD400 frames underneath yeah, that pile of crap. Last time. And they but are perfectly straight, you know. Um, I'm not going to let my own children. Good night, you're going to let So that's pretty good. But I was telling him, because it's like, you know, the, he might put this bike together, it might ride to find it on the street, but if somebody buys it for the track, as soon as he gets on the track, it, they're going to get a wobble. Yeah, you know? a speed wobble. And exactly. Now you're so, coming out from underneath you. Yeah, so it's not a bad idea to get the frame checked out. And then the front here, you know, obviously his, uh, you know, his, his fairing, the, uh, you know, the stays are best busted up those will be cheap to get but you can see here you know like his headlights are already an inch off in this way mm -hmm. and his fairings you know the rest of the stays he's got no clearance here and too much clearance over here you know um, big time yeah, so. yeah he's got a lot of work to do though you know, there's a lot of work to do on this bike so the forks are twisted tweaks to the side then right or then um, or the, or I don't the, think I think his forks and his frame are fine I think everything's straight I just think that all the, uh, just the you know, all the the, the framework to hold the, the plastics on got smashed. You know? Okay. You know, because he laid it on his left side. So whatever bracketry is exactly. what's twisted yeah, versus exactly. the frame. That's, that's the really only way to do check that is like you think you had a jig, you can put this on. Well, that's all kind of superficial. Like, yeah. I mean, it, it, if we're really, really lucky, it could be entirely just this, you know, just this fairing stay that's making everything like mm. that, you know? Because um, he's... He's missing all the the structure to keep this together on here yeah. when it's all here on this mm -hmm. side. So, you know, um, maybe we'll get lucky. You know, maybe you just get one of these. It'll, it'll fix like, you'll be 80% of the way there. Cái này là 80% cho nó thẳng lại được rồi đó. Yeah, cái cây này nè. Other than that, a lot of it's uh, superficial and, um, you know, he's got carburetors, so the carburetors are going to have to be cleaned out. Nó nói sang cũ rồi, phải tháo ra, chuỗi carburetor lại à. Jets replaced and... You know, yeah, it's like the carburetor, it's like the film just the carburetor. Yeah, yeah brakes. Sarah, so, Sarah. Yeah, got knocked off here. You'll need, you'll need, you can, you know, you can what? buy a cheap one on eBay for probably 17 bucks. Oh, okay. You know, um, and meanwhile, you could just drill a hole and stick a, you know, stick a bolt in there. That'll, that'll, that'll get, get you somewhere. Right. Exactly, that'll get you somewhere. Is this thing easy to replace? Yeah, it's really easy to replace. You know. Yeah, I did the SVs forever, you know, and there's, I don't think there's a bolt that I didn't turn on the SV650, <laughs> you know, I, I took everything apart. Cái này con muốn làm này á. Dạ. Nó về con lấy cái cạn phục lít nó đút vô. Đút phục lít vô. Ông đưa con mấy cái cây luôn rồi. Cái gì? Ông cho con mượn 2 năm á, hai cái cây này nè. I mean, if you're going to be halfway there anyway. Con đút cái phục lít vô đây, kéo cái phục lít kéo nó ra. Mà cứ mua cái cây này nó cho con mới mua cái cây này nhá không? Nhưng mà con cứ kéo cho nó ngay lại con mới đút vô được. My dad says, does he need to straighten this, then then put in the sub, then no, put in no, the new subframe? This is the subframe. This is, so this whole thing's gonna get replaced. He already bought another one. Oh. It just bolts on right here. It only oh. bolts on here and this here. This is aluminum. Um, oh, yeah, this yeah, this aluminum. is an aluminum box oh, yeah. frame. Yeah. So the, the your subframe only is only secured in in four different points of contact. Yeah. One two. Three, four, and that's then, it. Yeah. And it, it just comes right off, man. It's it's really. My dad nasty. was thinking of putting a forklift here and then pulling the whole thing that way. I mean, you could do that, but then it's never really going to be right, you know. Okay, Plus so my subframe is going to take care of the whole problem for me. Yeah, you already I, bought I that you, part. You oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or, uh, make sure that dog's not good. So what are you thinking, Eddie? You think it's doable? Yeah, I mean that's a good idea. What he said. So he found me a subframe on on, on Craigslist. This guy was racing this motorcycle and he had some parts laying around mm -hmm. and all of a sudden he decided to clean out his garage and he and he found it on Craigslist. Wow, it was a cocker. He wanted sixty dollars, so I gave him forty and he gave me forty dollars. Oh yeah, deal then. Yeah. This thing is like three hundred dollars and people in London don't even want to ship it to you. Yeah. I lucked out. 
So are you going to take it to the, the person up there in Sacramento and have, check the frame? No. I'm just going to put the front wheel on it, drive it, and see if it drives straight. Okay. So that's the wheel we got to take home. Okay. Uh, what about over here, Eddie? Give me some suggestion over here. Hold on. Can you get another one? Can you get another uh, brake lever? No, this thing. Oh, the casing. Did he... The guy was wondering if he could heli coil it for me. I imagine my dad can do the heli coil if I need to heli coil. Yeah, I mean you could try if you you can put one in your cell. You couldn't find another casing or another uh, bow. You mean this cover? Yeah. I have another cover, but it's somewhere lost in my friend's shop. A brand new cover. Oh. I bought it brand new from Honda. Mm -hmm. From both sides. Wow. And you can't find it yet, right? Not yet, but I have it. Yeah. Huh. But I, I just care about putting another wheel on it start, mm. and letting my dad deal with a carburetor for me. Yeah. So it can just drive down the block and then we'll find I out more. I was telling him, I just think it's a bad idea to put a different wheel on it. He's got like, it's like a 17-inch wheel and he bought a 16-inch wheel or something, you know. And I mean... You might get lucky and the bolt, the, you know, your brake, you know, rotors might bolt up to it. I mean, maybe, maybe not. Um, if that happens, then... Well, 17, 16, it's going to be short. But it's already, it's already a different dimension. You yeah. Can, you can tell that it's already taller and fatter. Yeah. You know, so, actually, yeah, it is a little taller, you know, so... You might, you might get some rubbing if you're unlucky. Yeah. You know, but more than anything... You know, I just I just think if you're gonna do it once, you might as well just do it the right way. You yeah. Know? So that that's my opinion. Okay. You never have to go back to it again. All right. So we're gonna repair the wheel. So yeah. where is the bent? There's my bent. Yeah. So is this pretty? What I see, what I get, I take these off, and then the thing come out. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. I like to keep. I, I'm superstitious about if I take a bolt out, even though there's an up and net, they're the same, I like to put them back in the, back in the same place. You wow. know? So try and keep the left and the right the same. I, I'm pretty sure they're, they're the same. It's not a big deal. Wow, but, you agree. But, yeah, as far you as, know, as the, the rotors? Or yeah, just the, the rotors. Themselves. But who you, knows? Maybe you've got uh, your, your groove patterns in, yeah. in your brake pads a certain way, and if you switch them around, you yeah. might, they might act a little different, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's true. I just, I, I, that's my superstitions, you know. Okay. So I would go ahead and just take a, this is light, I would take a stamp or whatever numbers are different from it and just note it. Because mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll go to the stamp and just stamp it where I know, even though there's numbers on it, I'll put like one and that, refer, that refers to driver's side. Mm -hmm. and then These then are cool, full floaters. Yeah. You know? What are floaters? They're, uh, so these are actually, I mean, if they were looped up, they you know, the, this rotor can actually kind of come slightly loose, so it's not going to be like, you know, like concreted onto the same plane here. So, you know, I mean, there's different, different things happen when, you know, parts get hot. You know, they expand and they kind of, they don't always stay exactly and true. So if this is, if this has the ability to move back and forth, then as you're braking, you know, then, then it can track, you know what I'm saying? And this, so, this rotor can do that? Yeah, these are full floaters. Yeah. It looks like one stiff piece of metal to me. Yeah, they're not. Really? <laughs> so what the heck? Cool. Yeah, it's that's a that's a very high caliber, you know, bike. It really is. You know, floating caliper. So cars don't do that. No, cars don't have floaters. Okay, yeah. so See, that concept. The is difference, new like to me. with my bike, you know, I mean, they're just bolted on, you know, and. And uh, that's it. The one rotor's just straight bolted straight to the to the oh. wheels. Oh, you know? I never even thought of that until you pointed it out. Yeah. So that's that's just a. Uh, and some <laughs> some bikes are semi floating, you know. Those are full floaters, just like the GSXRs. Okay. So yeah. now we know what we need to do. Yeah, but, this thing was up and running. This thing is great bike. Great little bike. But can I make a cover that it can't do? <laughs> so what happens if I shut down the fuel, ran it until it died? You know the peacock thing. <clears throat> Would that help with the carburetor, or is there still fuel in the? Oh, right bowl? now you're saying. 
let's just say 2005, if I shut this thing down where I turn it to the reserve mm -hmm. and then off, mm -hmm. then it kept on running until it died. Is did, that, did you do that? Let's say if I did though, I don't uh, know if I did or not. Is that helpful? I mean, or is there still fuel in the you're car? You're still gonna have, I mean, it's still gonna be coated in, in fuel. I mean, it's not, you won't have fuel in your bowls, right? But there's still going to be residue, right? Uh. I mean, maybe not. Maybe it might evaporate away, right? Nếu mà con cho nó lên off rồi, mà con nổ cho nó tắt máy luôn á, thì nó có nó có giúp được. Nổ cái gì ba không hiểu. Nó có cái off reserve on, con qua mình off rồi con cái nổ cho nào nó nó tắt máy luôn, thì thì nó còn xăng ở trong carburetor. So this is what it is. Oh, hot, hot. So this is actually a kind of a new generation. So there is a recirculating thing. I don't know if that's going to be a problem. So it's like even when I'm sleeping at night, it keeps. But I don't know if it's going to be a problem. It's not going to be a problem. It's not going to be a problem. You know, um, so, uh, it's cold, you know, colder. Then it just, it, you know, it heats up this little teeny part, and then it just pumps it through it again. So it's like, you know, you turn the shower, and it takes five seconds before you get hot water. Okay, so you're not, like, shot with the cold water. Yeah, they call it a cold sandwich, you know? Yeah. So they, they get you a little bit of, so a little bit of hot water, just, you know, just to get started, you know? So, like, literally five seconds after you're in the shower, it takes a hot water, and then it's like, then it's like warm. But it's a, but it's, it's not that cold shocking right at first. Why they got a wig I want to know I don't know. And their system is like in the bathroom. You gotta like push this doorbell, you know, to get to get the tank to start heating up and stuff, you know. Yeah. So technology's really come along. Oh yeah. You have any WD-40? Yeah, it was getting a little bit small for for our needs, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I, I was gonna see if I have it on the off, but then. There's no more connector here, and somebody pulled out the fuel line. What? I don't Who did know. That's in my friend's um, shop, so maybe he needed some gas. Who knows? Oh, but um, you know, we don't know. I wanted to, I, you know, I wanted to do something like, you know, the newer technologies like uh, solar paneling and stuff.